On the other side, representing Venezuela is Junisi Dubin. She's also undefeated. She's also known as a finisher, and she has some titles in several dis different MMA disciplines, but she's a big underdog tonight, Laura. She has a tremendous striking background in terms of the number of martial arts that she has mastered, a Taekwondo black belt, a Wushu black belt, uh, and she's competed in those in those martial arts as well. And you see that when she fights, she's got very aggressive striking, likes to come forward and, and really mix up her shots, try to break her opponents down with, with the pressure that she brings. But I really like her story. That's what sold me on her. I mean, she, she fights with a purpose beyond just competing. She grew up um, witnessing a lot of violence and she decided, you know what, I'm gonna learn how to defend myself so that no man will ever put his hands on me. She actually had a period in her career where she stepped away from fighting because she got involved with a coach that, uh, that was abusing her. And that's why you see this big, uh, this big lapse of time in her record. But her last fight back, she got a phenomenal finish, actually broke her opponent and, and wasn't able to continue. Yanni, I understand you have your favorite prop of the night in this matchup. What is it? Yeah, I do. There's the misconception that you blindly bet the female MMA over. And nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, in women's flyweight in the UFC, 48% of the time they finished inside the distance. We've had 11 women flyweight fights on the Contender Series, five inside the distance, six Woo! decisions. So right around the coin flip, sitting right around the average. Two finishers, two closers. Let's bet this one under two and a half. Lay a little chalk or the no, it will not go to distance. All right, thanks very much, Yanni. We'll check in with you a bit more. Junisi Dubin and Shannon Clark both have a zero in the loss column. As you look at Dubin from Venezuela, Piera Rodriguez is in the UFC representing Venezuela as well. And a handful of fighters have fought their way to the top level through Dana White's Contender Series from Venezuela. We'll see if Dubin ends up being one of them. Here's your tale of the tape for this women's flyweight affair. Dubin, four years younger than the Canadian out of Alberta, Shannon Clark. Clark, an inch and a half taller, an inch in reach, lies with the eight to one underdog, Dubin. Mike Beltran is our veteran referee to get him going. All right, ladies, first round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Count on, let's go. This fight clock is brought to you by Bud Light, official beer sponsor of the UFC. Shannon Clark in blue, Dubin in red. Clark moving forward right away. Dubin throwing combinations in return. Yeah, Dubin tagged her there on the way in, and Clark's got to be aware of these big oh. shots. Yeah, she can't just sit there and need these shots. She's got to move her head a bit. She's a bit stiff, but... This is where she wants to be, in close, in the clinch, being physical. She's just running in with her chin up. She's got to be very careful. Dubin will throw some powerful punches. Oh! Spicy start to this one, as we expected. Spicy indeed. I mean, like you said, Paul, Clark loves to fight out of the clinch. So watch for her to just try to close distance at about any cost. Like you said, she's not moving her head. Oh! Big shot from Dubin. Dubin throwing haymakers. Yeah, she's bringing it tonight. She's putting combos out there, right? She's throwing punches as Clark tries to close that distance. She's all over her, just putting combos right in her face. Body with that kick. Body with that kick. Wow! Dubin with an overhand swing from Shannon Clark. seen a judge's scorecard and you better believe Dana White exploded out of his chair for that one. My that is among is the most the crazy knockout we've we ever saw. seen on this show. That was insane. Oh, that was insane. Man. Hey, you might as well not even go sit in the back. Why are you playing this game? Incredible. And he did wow. just gave her a contract right there. He that just the back. That, hey, that's got to be the You're biggest up. upset in Contender Series history. And not only did you win, you're not standing up yet. Love you too, honey. Congratulations. Incredible. One of the most 
vicious knockouts we have seen on eight seasons of Dana White's Contender Series belongs to Junizi Dubik. You do not see walk-off knockouts like this from women very often. An overhand right, right to the jaw, out, chalked, cold. Look, I mean, she threw that from her hip and Clark walked right into it. I don't know if I've seen a more vicious one-punch knockout from a female flyweight. She went like she was gonna go for the takedown. She fainted the knee tap, threw a softball overhand, Listen. and put Shannon Clark to bed. Paul hasn't spoken for like Sorry. three minutes. To be, the, oh no, <laughs> he's, he's been uh, on purpose. I, I, I mean, unreal to come in being that sized underdog, not only winning and upsetting everyone, but coming in and performing like that and getting that knockout. <laughs> I mean, it was already one of those fights where you're just clenching your fist the whole time, and yes, that's the appropriate reaction to have. He looked like he almost ripped his shirt off. Did you see? <laughs> I mean, you don't get better than that. We saw Jorgen De Castro against Alton Meeks a few seasons <laughs> ago, and that was a giant <laughs> underdog cashing in. This is a real-time replay <laughs> of what just went down. Body with that kick, body with that kick. Oh! So Shannon, I'm right here with you. I'm right here with you, Shannon. Man, that is crazy stuff from Junizi Dubin. All right, Shannon Clark has already left the octagon under her own power, so good to know on that. But Junizi Dobin gets the moment. Justin Bernard with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 13 seconds into round number one, referee Mike Beltran calls a stop to the fight for the winner by knockout, Junizi Dobin. I mean, Paul, we like to think we know what we're talking about sometimes and know maybe what to expect, and you just don't. You just don't sometimes, Brendan, and guess what? That's why this sport is so amazing, because those moments happen, and you can never predict when they're going to happen and how they're going to happen and who, what, what weight division, and female, male fight, it doesn't matter. People will always surprise you in this game, and, and I'm here for it all the time. And how about this, Junizi Dubin, she's 28 years old. Laura alluded to her story. She had a coach and she dealt with some abuse from that coach. She was betrayed, she was abused. She did not fight in 2020, 2021, 2022, or 2023. This is her second fight this year, but that is a rather large pause button on a career in long, the mid-20s. Long, yes, very long time. But it's clear to me that in that time, she was improving because if you go and you watch her fights, she's winning those fights, she's finishing a lot of those fights. But the ferocity and the power at which she was landing shots tonight, even from the beginning, even before that beautiful overhand right, she was landing clean shots. She had Clark stunned the entire time. And then that, come on. That's her fourth first round finish. The matchmakers are gonna like her. Right? Yeah. When, you're, when you're trying to put together a fight card and you want to give the fans something to watch. Yeah, she's going to bring it. She brought it tonight from the beginning. Let's take a look. I mean, Clark is coming at her with no respect right. Buckled whatsoever. Buckled her knees there with the left. You can't just charge in. She gets dropped there, touched by her right hand, and then good night. Thanks for coming. Just unreal overhand right. She set it up. She leaned in like she was going to go for that takedown and just absolutely hammers that right hand. All right, so she's going to join Laura in just a moment. I understand Dana White, want, you know, is with Junisi Dubin right now. I mean, he gave out bonuses and extras last she, week. I she mean, might be.